What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satem Mangala, the rep for Into the Revolution, welcome you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, helping you to wake up and turn your brain on into prosper. And by prosper, I mean succeed at every level in every part of your life, every single day. Today's topic, your core is weak. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So one week ago, I did 20X, 20X Seal Fit Challenge, the 12-hour crucible, where they basically grind you to a pulp, in and out of the lake, crawling on the water, in and out of mud, 10-mile rucksack hike, air squats, push-ups, pull-ups, more air squats, push-ups, pull-ups, more planks, more sit-ups. It was the most difficult thing I've ever physically done, and it was a grind. Now, there's one part in there where I was was doing these push-ups, and I could not, like, they're like, get your knees off the ground. And of course, me being 300 pounds, my shoulders are fine. I can handle, like, hold down my shoulders. But my core was weak. And Coach Tree, who is a total specimen, like, he is the stuff the movies are made of. This guy, more stories about Tree at another time. But Tree was on me. He was like, golly, you look at your core, man. Oh, my goodness. Your core is so weak. Man, all them biceps and shoulder muscles, you can't even, man, weak core. Weak core, golly. Come on, golly. And he rode me hard. This, like, he just was all over me. You didn't prepare for this, golly. Man, golly. Lack of preparation, golly. I've thought about that all week. This past week, I had my Shield Maiden event. Where I had 12 powerful women from all over the country, North America, Canada, United States, fly into Southern California. And I thought about this all week. Your core is weak. Your core is weak. You know, your core, your obliques, your abdomen, low back, your core is like the source of everything. The stronger your core, the stronger you are. And I took this this message from Tree. Golly, your core is weak. I took it as real-time feedback. What does that mean? Instead of getting mad at him, Instead of like getting pissed off, it was, you know what, you're right, Tree. You are right, Tree. My core is weak. Why? Because I haven't given it time and attention. Because I've spent other time and more time on other parts of my body. Shoulders, biceps, triceps, legs, building mass. But my core is weak. Imagine how much stronger, like how much better I operate if I strengthen my core. There's a sit-up test. You had to do 40 sit-ups within a two-minute period with your hands crossed over your on your shoulders, elbows touching your knees on the way up. And I, I, I like, failed the test. That's how bad it was. And then he just stood over me like, you, you can't tell me you prepared for this. Now, here's the crazy piece. I prepared. But what did I learn? That my preparation was insufficient because my core was weak. I didn't train hard enough. I didn't train long enough, but I thought I was. So what's the lesson here? Like, what's this the, the principle we can take for you? Number one, your core is weak. Now, it may not be your core, but something in your life is weak right now, and it is the weak link. Is it your body? Is it your cardiovascular shape, like your heart and your lungs? You know, can you walk up the stairs without dying? You know, the, one of my mentors, the late Jim Rohn, and he talks about this man who walks up a flight of stairs and he's like, oh no, I, I can't do this. I can't, how could I do this? I can't do this anymore. Like this has got to stop. And, and maybe it's not your body. Maybe your spirituality is weak where you don't know the purpose of your life and you've forgotten who you are and you've decided to play small and you aren't playing big. And you aren't playing powerful like you could. And maybe, maybe you are disconnected from the greatest purposes that you could possibly live. Maybe it's not your body. Maybe it's not your spirituality. Maybe, just maybe, it is your health and your fitness. And maybe it's your relationships. And maybe it's your marriage. I I don't know what's weak in you. How would we know? Because you put it under the press. 
You put it under stress. The only way I actually knew my core was weak was to jump into a plank position and hold it and to start to do push-ups. And then I'd have to put my butt in the air because I'd have to compensate because my core was weak. But why does it matter if your relationships are weak or that your spirituality, your health and fitness are weak? Why would it matter if your business acumen is weak and your bank accounts are weak? Because one thing begins to bleed over into the others and begins to affect everything else. And if you truly want to have a life that you love, a life of results, a life of service, a life of contribution and a life of meaning, you are going to have to strengthen your core. And again, your core is going to mean a number of things for you. So what's the weak part of your body, your spirituality, your business? Is it your marketing? I know a lot of life coaches out there who are broke. Life coaches are the most broke people on earth. Why? Because their core is weak. They're not skilled. They're not trained. Let's go to the next lesson. I thought I prepared, right? I thought I was prepared. And what I found out, I was nowhere near being prepared. You know, when I played football collegiately and professionally, practice was harder than the games. My off-season regimens were harder than the games. Who was in charge of that? Me. But somewhere along the line, I forgot, right? I forgot that when you prepare and you train for something, you train harder and you train longer and you train in the most uncomfortable places so that when you get in the game, the game's easy. Well, how does this principle apply to life? Are you preparing to win the business game for your business? As a father, as a mother, are you preparing yourself to prepare your children to battle the elements? There's a moral decay. The the, the values are going down the drain. The world is brainwashing your children. The world is brainwashing you. One of the coolest things about preparation is we've basically cut off the TV in our home. Sure, we got some Netflix and my wife will catch some things on Hulu, but like, there's just no more TV watching. It's March Madness at the time I'm recording this episode. I've watched like 15 minutes of basketball. 15 minutes. I was catching. I was like, oh, this looks like a good game. We get caught up on sports. Have no concept. I'd check the news, but why do I bring this up? Because I'm preparing my mind to be strong and sharp to be utilized to make a difference. So where can you now prepare better? I promise you, the will to win must be preceded by the will to prepare. And as you can tell, I was not prepared. I was ill-prepared for 20X. That's going to change. One of the cool things that I put into place for me in my life is every morning when I get ready to go to uh, start my day and I brush my teeth, I got one of those sonic electronic toothbrushes. I lock the pillows on my feet, lock it under my bed, and I just, for the whole time, I brush my teeth, and I'm just doing sit-ups, right? And that's easy, right? I can brush my teeth, hold my tooth, and I'm just doing sit-ups. I'm going to do this every single day. My core will no longer be weak. No longer. Reminds me of 2010, right? My bank accounts were weak. My skill sets were weak. And I remember, like, not even being able like we had some young women in my church who came up and said, hey, Brother Nolly, right in my ward, my church, they call each other like brother and sister. And, and Brother Nolly, hey, can you support our fundraiser? I couldn't even I couldn't even pay $10 for a plate lunch. That's how bad it was. And I remember thinking back in 2010, this is weak. My business and banking accounts are weak. I will not do this again. No way. Never again. Nuh-uh. It ain't going to happen. 2010, that was six and a half years ago. And I'm proud to report to you today, I can buy the plate lunch. So, those of you who are listening to this thing, if you ever want me to like support you in some kind of fundraiser, just come ask me. It's because I made up my mind. My business was weak. My core from 20X was weak, and I'm making a difference. So, where in your life today can you strengthen that which is weak? Where in your life, in your business, in your marriage, as a father, as a mother, can you strengthen that which is weak? I love one of my favorite scriptures can be found in the Book of Mormon. Yeah, for those of you who aren't Mormon and Christian, hey, don't get your panties all like tightened up now. Just listen to the scripture here. The scripture that says, and if men come unto me, I will make their weaknesses become their strengths. 
I love that scripture. Your weaknesses can become your strengths. Because of Coach Tree and 20X, guess what? He was yelling the whole time, your core is so weak, golly. And my last name was not golly, it's golly, but I wasn't going to tell him that. I was like, yes, coach. So I can tell you what, my weakness of having a weak core, no more. No more. I'm going to strengthen this thing. I'm going to give it time, energy, and attention. It is game on like Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. What can you strengthen today, my friends? It's your boy, Satan Magala, reminding you. If you want to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, that's going to require you to get into that relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to get to the top of your mountains and to pay the pipe, pipe, piper so that you can create a life that you really love. I love you. I'm out. Strengthen the core. What's your core? Strengthen the core every single day, baby. Hoo-ya! For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.